the lesson is rectilinear plane figures this is grade 6 lesson number 12 it's in your part 2 maths textbook so doing this lesson you will be able to identify the properties of the rectilinear plane figures in triangle, rectangle and square, trapezium and parallelogram. First of all, we will see what is the plane figures. You can you can follow follow up the textbook with this video, then you can understand the lesson more effectively so uh, now we'll go to the lesson first what what is the plane figures before you learn about the plane figures you should have an idea about these segments line segments there are two types of line segments one is a straight line segment. You can see the picture, a straight line segment and the curved line segment, a curved segment, straight line segment and the curved segment. This is the line segments. So then we can go to the plane figures. Then what is the plane figures? Plane figures is the figures drawn on flat surfaces using straight line segments and curved line segments are defined as plane figures so if we draw any flat surfaces using straight line segment or curved line segments or both together we can define as a plane figures you can see some examples there are they all are plane figures. There are two types of plane figures. Closed plane figures and open figures. Open plane figures. So what is the closed plane figures? Closed plane figures are the figures which are completely bounded by the line segment completely bounded by the line segments there are no any opens if we start from this point we can go around and come to the back to the start point so it is totally closed that type of figures we say closed plane figures then what is the open figure open figures are which are not completely bounded by line segment it's not completely bounded it's open can you see it's not closed it's open it's just a line segment so this type of figures we call open plane figures now you know what is the plane figure and what is the closed plane figure and what is the open plane figure now we will go to the our next part our lesson it's a rectilinear plane figures now we'll see what is the rectilinear plane figure rectilinear plane figure rectilinear plane figure what is then rectilinear plane figures figures bounded by straight line segments only the figures that bounded by straight line segments.
such figures are called closed rectilinear plane figures. This type of plane figures we call rectilinear because it's only bounded by straight line segments. There are no any curved line segments. That's why we say this is a closed rectilinear plane figures. Okay, now we'll see what are the elements of rectilinear plane figures. What are the elements of rectilinear plane figures? There are, if we take this figure and this figure, you can see there are some line segments, straight line segments in this figure. We call this line segments, straight line segments, we call side. Straight line segment, we define as a side. Any straight line segment of a rectilinear plane figure, we define as a side. An angle, then what is the next element? It's an angle. Between two sides, inside, between two sides, meeting point, we call an angle. Then an angle formed inside the rectilinear plane figure by two sides meeting. By two sides meaning it's formed an angle. So, there are two main elements of a rectilinear plane figures side and angle now let's see what are the types of rectilinear plane figures what are the type of rectilinear plane figures there are some triangles and quadrilaterals Triangles and quadrilaterals are the some types of rectilinear plane figures. First, we will see what is a triangle. What is a triangle figure? You can say a triangle. What are the basics of triangle? It has three sides and one, two, three, three sides and as I shown in numbers, three angles. There are three angles and three sides of a triangle. This is also a rectilinear plane figure, triangle. So it has three sides and three angles. Now we will see. What is the quadrilateral? Quadrilateral is it has four sides. It has one, two, three, four. It has four sides and one, two, three, four. Four angles. It has four sides and four angles. So, there are so many plane figures you may see with four sides and four angles. They have some special names. So, we will see what are the, we we'll see what are the various types of quadrilaterals and properties. First one is trapezium. First one is trapezium. What is the trapezium? You can see in this figure it has four sides and four angles. It's a one of one of quadrilateral. But the gap between this one pair of there are two pairs. Can you see? Opposite pairs. 
so the gap between one pair of opposite sides is constant it means the gap between these two lines are constant it's not changed if we take it as a 5 meters all the points between this is 5 meters it's not changed only one pair of opposite sides is constant next figure is we call parallelogram what is the parallelogram it also has four sides and four angles but the gap between the gap between pair of opposite sides is constant the gap between pair of opposite sides is constant it means from here to here this length is constant not change from this direction and this gap also constant in this way and also opposite sides are equal in length it's mean this length ad and the bc length is equal if this one is 5 meters this one also 5 meters and this length if it is 10 meters this length also 10 meters so opposite sides are equal in length that is we call parallel group third one third one is rhombus we call this is a rhombus the rhombus is it has usually it has four sides and four four angles it's a common common thing for the quadrilateral but the rhombus the gap between pair of opposite sides is constant the gap between as we talked earlier this distance are constant it will not change and the all the lengths of the all sides are equal it means here to here this length if this length is we say if it is 5 meters all the lengths are same here to here 5 meters here to here 5 meters and here to here 5 meters length of all sides all four sides are equal it we call rhombus we have to talk about more two figures square and rectangle we'll see what are the properties of that rectangle and square number four is rectangle number four is rectangle we'll see what is the rectangle and what is the property of a rectangle as a figure shown rectangle also has a four sides and four angles so the gap between pair of opposite sides is constant this this distance from here to here this distance is constant it will not change if it is 5 meters from here to here also it's 5 meters that's why we call it constant and this direction this direction also if length is 10 meters here also it's 10 meters it's not change it's a constant and the sides opposite sides this we call opposite sides this call we this sides we call opposite so opposite sides length are equal if this length is 10 meters this one also 10 this one is 5 and this one is 5 so opposite length are equal and 
in the rectangle all the angles are 90 it's right angle so rectangle has right angles all the angles are right angle then last one is number 5 square a square also the gap between pair of opposite sides are constant and the, all the lengths of the four sides are equal if this length is 5 meters all the lengths are 5 meters this is equal lengths and the angle also right angle angle also right angle so these is these are the properties of the rectilinear plane figures i hope you understood what i teach you from this video so please follow up your textbook and do the exercises given the book and i hope you understand this lesson well and please be subscribe my channel and stay I hope you will you understood this lesson very well please follow up your book and do the exercises given in the book I have to see you with my next video thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you